quick coat, quick coat. Looks pretty cool. Welcome back to Mazimoto, everybody. Having a very hard day today. Um, a little tired. My body hurts. I spent about three and a half, four hours yesterday grinding the Sportster frame. I didn't film any of it because it was a weird thing to film. And also, there's so many other videos of people doing the exact same thing. So uh, if you wanna go see it done, Go to Lane Split Boulevard. Um, Son does it on his Sportster where he shows you where he cut and everything. I watched that video before I attempted this on this frame. So thank you for that, Son. Let me show you what's going on. As you can see, I'm having a monster. Went ahead and cut a bunch of stuff out of this frame. Whole lot of stuff. So today, I'm just gonna clean all this up. Probably welding a plate here. Uh, welding a plate right in here. Clean this up, reinforce this with some welds, and then put in the cross tube. I just picked up some tubing. And uh, yeah, and then I have to do some finish welding on the frame, fit up a few more things, but that's what we're doing today. It's gonna be a quick video. Um, I'm hoping to do about a 10 minute video today. Just cause I'm tired and I have to go home and edit this and post it so that it'll be out tonight um, or tomorrow. What's up? I was just gonna say, I'm gonna make another video about hardtailing an Evo. <laughs> yeah, so Mike's gonna be hardtailing um, one of our friends, Evo Sportsters. Same deal though, for all addictions, hardtail setup, so it's It'll look a lot like that. Yeah. That was nice though. I don't know. I feel like it'll be pretty nice. Um, well, so, be cutting out as much as Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you want to, I mean, I don't know when the video is going to be up. Probably in the next couple weeks. Yeah, we'll probably have it up next week. Okay. So. I haven't been slacking. We've all been slack slacking. <laughs> uh, we're, he's going to put that up in the next couple weeks. So make sure to go watch that. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to try and have this assembled as a roller by the end of the day maybe. Um, probably not with the motor in it, but at least the front end and everything else and just kind of make it look cool. Come along, we're back from the one moto and I'm tired. But Oregon was pretty sweet. Thank you to the one moto peeps for uh, having us. Next year, it's gonna be big. So follow along as we uh, customize this Evo Sportster. All right, so I've cleaned it up quite a bit. There are these points where I ground down a little bit too far. So I'm probably just gonna weld those up. And then I'm gonna make a plate for right here. Make a plate for right here. And then make the main plate that goes right here. And I uh, still gotta weld up the rest of these seams right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So first thing I'm going to do before I weld anything else is weld uh, the underside of this plate here that was already here. So I'm just going to do a seam along the neck right there and then do two seams right there and right there just for extra stability. And then I made a little CAD uh, plate right here. So I'm going to cut that out of metal and then when I plate the sides I'm going to connect it here so it'll be all connected up. But first things first, weld that in place. <clears throat> I 
I kept tripping the breaker, but um, looks pretty decent. All right, <clears throat> I have my CAD here. There's the centerpiece, and then this is the right side. Those two will connect. If I had three hands, I would show you. And then I still have to make the one for inside here. So I'm gonna make that right now. It's the centerpiece. I'm gonna make that and weld it in. pieces are made I just have to weld them in now so I'm gonna start with the bottom and then go with the sides and then do the center so let's get to it right now but uh, I made this center post right here this will be what goes on the frame um, to make it look like a big twin so let me uh, straighten out the the frame and I'll show you where this is gonna go so this piece this piece here will kind of sit right there and that was the whole point of this was to add this bar right here so I'm gonna go ahead and tack this in place and then uh, we should be good to go
all welded up. I'm gonna clean these welds and then I'll show you guys some uh, B-roll of it all. All right, so bad news. I was uh, unplugging the grinder from over here and there was a big fireball out of that power strip shut everything off so except for that side so we're stuck here with no power trying to figure it out but i guess i'll do an outro so uh let me see if i can get this to focus it looks pretty good you know if you're uh, up to the task this is a nice come out the welder is welding real nice before the breaker blue <laughs> so uh so i guess that ooh, there it is yeah look at that oh wait there's a shadow there it is so uh yeah we're gonna try and figure out how to turn the lights back on um this is a pretty cool project if you want to do it yourself it's a lot of work so um just make sure you're, you know, what you're getting into. I didn't really, you know, show every step of the way for this project. And that's because, like I said earlier, there's other people like Lane Split Boulevard that have done this on YouTube. So go watch their video if you want to know step by step. They do a better job at it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, next steps on this is putting the motor back in, trying to figure out where the motor mount should go, the top motor mount and welding that in and then i have a few more things to do and then it's time for assembly and i'm probably going to mold some of the neck so um, that'll be nice but uh yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video take care <laughs> <laughs> all right well i lied um i did not post the video yet it's gonna be posted tomorrow friday uh because I edited most of it and there wasn't enough content in this video. So it's the next day. We still have no power um, except for Mike's area and we have extension cords kind of going through the whole shop right now. Thank you, Mike, for running those. Uh, <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys the Sportster frame in the light and then I'm probably just gonna spray some uh, primer um, for now, just so it doesn't rust and kind of assemble a roller for the video. So stay with me. All right, just to show you guys, Mike brought up a great point. A lot of you might not know exactly what a stock sports or frame looks like. So we have one sitting right here. Mike's about to hardtail this one. And uh, this is basically what it looked like before I cut everything out. I went ahead and cut the motor mount um, this whole gusseted neck area and the cover that goes over all this. The underside, I cut the bottom of this out. So that's what it looked like stock. And this is the rest of the frame stock. And now you'll see this is what it looks like now. Obviously much better. Looks kind of like a big twin frame with the... Uh, Throttle Addiction's hardtail. Looks pretty good. Much better. Um, I had to grind down some of the stuff because there was a lot of splatter. But uh, the welds were really nice. It burned in real good. And uh, it's looking nice. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, nice, dude. the underside here so I think last thing I'm just gonna plate is between these two I might just throw a plate in here just so it's uh, sealed off from the elements but uh, I probably can't do that until after we get power ran or turned back on well, you have 220. I know I just don't really feel like TIG welding that <laughs> Uh, the hardest one TIG weld <clears throat> so yeah that's what it's looking like and I still have to weld in a motor mount of some sort right here so I might start assembling this frame 
just to make it look like a complete bike again. It's gonna be like assembly five or something. And then disassembly. And then five. disassembly, and then assembly again, and then disassembly, and then assembly, and then disassembly, and then assembly. And this stuff takes time. Yes. Especially when you're creating a bike. Even though all the parts are here, it takes time. I'm spending like 20 minutes just trying to undo a plug over there. Yeah. It's always the little things that gets in your way. So remember, when you're doing this, patience is key. Take your time. Remember where everything went. Bag all your nuts and bolts. Yeah, take photos. Take photos. Take video. <laughs> Even better. Even better. Um, so let's get to assembling this. I'm going to clean up the area a little because I didn't clean up last night because we had no power. So let's get to it. Just put a quick coat of black down, just some black lacquer. Um, just get an idea of what it's going to look like. It's not going to be a black frame, that's for sure. But uh, I just wanted to prevent rust from forming, so I cleaned off a little bit of the rust that was on the hardtail. And just did a quick coat. Quick coat, quick coat. It looks nice. So I kind of just 10 minute paint job this, these tins and stuff just to uh, give it a little bit of a different look than rusty metal. And it's not bad, not bad at all. Let's throw the last piece on there, set this camera down. This last piece will make it. Sweet doggy. There it is, the seat's on. Still got a lot of work to do, but uh, looks pretty cool. I was almost going to paint this whole frame this blue color. Just did a little like marble to the paint as well. A little marble effect. So uh, I also extended these forks and put the PVC pipe in so you can kind of see a little bit better how tall the stance is. Looks pretty nice. So I really like the blue wheels. Sorry. <laughs> I like the black wheels. I have to fit up the fender, rear fender a little bit better and mount it up. Um, I still have to mount the oil tank, put the motor in and stuff, but we're getting there. I mean, this is kind of what I'm going to be focusing all week, so the next video as well might be this bike. It'll be part five, I think. What do you think, Blue? I like it. Yeah? Oh, that's the color Z? Yep. Oh, I like that. Yeah, the grips will be brown as well, I think. Kind of like... 
Southwest vibes? Yeah, that's what we're going for. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's totally it right there. So I think that, like, I just painted the, the frame black just to give a better look to it while we're staring at it here. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the whole frame will be painted the same color as the tins. And then there'll be like little sections that'll be different colors. He kind of wants like this color, um, uh, like a like a pink and like a tan. So that's kind of kind of what we're going for, yeah. Do that. If you want to hold this, I'll show you. color swatches that he kind of gave me it's like this purple this pink I really like this pink with the, the like turquoise I think the turquoise and pink are pretty sweet mm -hmm. so maybe like do something like that I'm not sure yet but this is just to kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like the whole frame is gonna be painted as well like I said and then Southwest Vibes, yep. You fucking nailed it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> also, we got the power back on. We have power in the shop again. Uh, it was quite the process to get the power back on, but it's on now. So, I have a little smudge on my face. Is that my monster? You're a monster. Dude. It's our monster. Dude. Our monster. All we were right? sponsored by Monster for a couple months. Monster and Energy, bang my line. Oof. For the best Factory 60 you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Sponster. Sponster. Spon Spon Can't say it. Sponster. Uh, so, Sponster. yeah, I think this will be the end of the video officially for real this time. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, make sure you tune in next week. I'm hoping that the video will be out on Thursday, unlike this week. Um, tell me what you think about the Sporty. Oh, Mike just shut off the power. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like so confused. Uh, so we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And uh, Blue? I don't got nothing. <laughs> you just gotta say goodbye. Oh, hi. <laughs>